Hey, what's up guys? It's your boy Wrench really quickly. Uh, you know, really quick intro because this video is already starting. Basically, I'm playing Boomy. Um, I'm not playing a Surrey in low tier city, but we're just gonna do a quick best of five and I decided I would get Lucian game plan because I know you guys want to see the Lucian and you haven't seen the Lucian in a little bit because I have not done any videos with him in a little bit. So, I'm gonna be playing him here and then, um, depending on how long this best of five goes, I might still play some ranked, but, uh... Yeah, we'll see, we'll see. And I missed that dash, what? Okay. That was a good ground pound, okay. I didn't think he would have enough time to do that, but yeah. Oh my god, gauntlet. Yeah, so I haven't really practiced Lucian in a nice minute now because in my opinion, he's not really good in tournament. So I don't really know. At, at least compared to characters like Asuri. Oh god. I'm dead. Yeah. Oh no. And I'm dead. Yeah. So... Maybe I go to a sorry. Maybe this video does not become Lucian because I want to actually make this a, a worthwhile best of five. I feel like I'm kind of throwing when I play Lucian now. Just because the low attack is pretty hard to make this character work with. Oh my god. That was a bit rushed. I meant to dare, that would have hit. That 100% would have hit. Yeah, I'm a bit out of practice because I didn't play Brawlhalla at all yesterday. But, you know how it is. Yeah, that was a 100% bait. Okay, maybe I, uh, I'll, I'll commit to the Lucian. I just have to make it work. <sighs> Don't know why he's on Mordex, but it's okay. It kind of happens. So if I go, if I go to Brawlhaven, then, okay, never mind. I was gonna say then the low attack doesn't really matter as much, but like Lucian just struggles, struggles really, really hard to find kills. So, you know, like sometimes your opponent will just live for like a minute extra just because your options to kill are pretty predictable if you don't find them early enough. And I keep trying to do Edmund, but yeah, out of practice. Should be fun. That was just an awkward delight. Wait, that's not even that good anymore. <laughs> I forgot, they nerfed it! He 
totally could have killed me. Oh, no. Okay. It happens. So, I'm on blasters, so it's gonna be kind of difficult to kill with Sarah, probably. Or actually, maybe not. Dead? Okay, good. Good, 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 good. Oh god, I'm so fine. Less fine. And I'm, I'm dead, okay. Unfortunate. I think I spammed the jump there on accident. Which was why I might have been able to get back otherwise. Alright. Just kind of knew he wouldn't do anything there. Not quite. You killed? Oh, oh, oh. Okay. Not bad, not bad. That actually, that actually worked. So, the Lucian is not completely terrible. It's able to at least win a game. Why is he Nash? Okay. Interesting swap, and these maps are all hot garbage. I'll go Great Hall. I should have the probably easiest time killing on great hall that's just kind of what, what i'm thinking when i'm playing lucian is where can i kill the easiest and because of the second platform i should be able to maybe hit something there but i don't know and also just the sides of this map are just evenly sh short small oh by the way spear is ridiculous now that weapon is already good even though spear mains would tell you, they would lie to your face and tell you that spear was bad. But, um, yeah, spear is extra ridiculous now. Great that D-Light. Basically, whenever you jump against a spear player, their mind goes to D-Light, and their mind is always on trying to hit a D-Light. So if you're jumping, and you're just buffering jumps like this, like, not against a hammer, obviously, but... Um, you can kind of bait that, and then you can just go grounded. No? Okay. Unfortunate. Hammer is also really good now. I'm kind of liking that for my Bodvar and 2s, but in 1v1 I'm not a fan of the buff. Because Hammer was already one of the best weapons in Recovery. Which they power shifted from Recovery. Recovery was not the issue of Hammer, in my opinion. Still? Yeah, okay. I I remember, like, Autumn Champs is when my blasters were at their peak, and just my Lucian in general was at peak. But since then, I've not been playing it a whole lot. just the use of deceiving movement. Oh god. And so, yep, knew it. Okay. Yeah, let's go. I'm actually kind of surprised. I was I was sure he was going to end safe, but I don't know. It's cool that that was confirmed. Mm 
Okay. So it's like, if you can easily find your kill options like that side sig, which is absolutely insane for whiff punishing, but not really great in any other situation, you should be able to do really good. Because Lucian's not a bad character by any means, but his strength can literally like lose you games sometimes. Oh god. Oh. I had enough time. Almost. Not quite, but... Gonna recover here. Oh! Let's go! Okay, this Lucene's not bad, dude. Alright. My blasters just needed a little bit of warming up because... I also did not warm up before this video. Um, basically what happened is I woke up at like 3 and then I got out of bed at 4 p.m. by the way because I, I've been playing League of Legends at degenerate hours basically. Um, but yeah, so when that happens it's not good. And I need to start getting proper brawl practice before low tier city now or else I'm like screwed. So that's what I'm going to be focused on. So... Yeah, it just takes a bit of warming up and then I'm not misinputting as much anymore. Oh my, that sig is ridiculous. I don't know why that has not been nerfed. Like, that sig is one of the reasons why we just need a giant sig balance patch. That thing is literally the hitbox is just a giant circle. That was really nice, that recovery. I thought I could get away from it, but unfortunately that's just not the case. Oh, I love New D-Light, man. Oh my god, this thing's amazing. <laughs> no. Good dodge. Debate that sideline by threatening and then just not doing something. It's gonna go high, okay. Oh. That weapon throw kind of forced his dodge. That was like unconventional, but it worked. Yeah, didn't want to risk the recovery just in case. I mean, always take the easier input if you can. That was that was good. That was really good. Okay. I don't know. I, I part of me wants to lose this so then we can have a full entire best of five, but the other part of me wants to just win the best of five. Alright, you know, that was like 14 minutes of just pure gameplay, so, uh, yeah, I, I won the best of five, so I'll call that a success, even though, like, I haven't warmed up today and stuff, uh, pretty nice, I, I guess I warmed up throughout the set and also just, uh, was able to read him, uh, well enough, so, you know, Thank you for watching the video. I hope you enjoyed the Lucian gameplay. If you want me to play any other Qatari Legends in particular, or you have any video ideas, leave them in the comments below and I'll check them out. If they're good enough ideas, I'll put them into a poll and we'll, you know, we'll figure out what the next video is going to be. Um, I want to be making content that you guys want to see, uh, first and foremost. Um, but definitely I want to make a sword guide for sure. That's something that's coming eventually, I hope. 
Uh, probably not to the extent like that the Katara's Guide was, but uh, it's going to be hopefully a helpful guide. So, you know, thank you for watching and peace out.